too fast on approach, judgment's gonna go out the window. Lane positioning, can chuck that out the window with judgment. First gear, I can't see past this black one, but look, the line comes stretches out further on the left. I'm not going because I couldn't see. Can go there. See how I'm looking forward before I go? I think the left signal cancelled, unfortunately. I just managed to get it back on. So I'm going to turn right at the next junction. Go into the right turn box here. You see, I know I entered that turn box real early. And I'm waiting. Door mirror level. Now, you know, when you're waiting in this position, it's really important to have your tyres straight and your bodywork straight. Because if you get shunted and your bodywork of the car is facing towards traffic, if you get shunted from behind, you're going to get pushed into your you're going to get pushed into that traffic. Let's just do a little recap on the roundabout that I just did. There was a black car that went next to me. Now, a lot of people would use that opportunity to go as well at the same time. That will be a driving test fail, that one. It's called shielding. You get it? So you're kind of shielded by the other vehicle. Now, if you can't see, that means that if that vehicle's involved in a collision and something plows into the side of it, I have a guess who else is probably going to be involved so it's for that reason that I didn't go and it's for that reason you'd failed the driving test because of the, the risk there now if you sometimes it's a tactic to sort of hold back just before so you can see I went for going just in front because you know the roundabout circular and the paint goes round like this so if you're in the left hand lane you're naturally further forward than the car next to you in the, well, middle or right, it depends how big the roundabout is, the right on the roundabout that we just did. Yeah, I think my left signal cancelled uh, while I was talking and whatnot, but uh, fortunately, yeah, that does happen, so you need to keep uh, listening out for the tick-tocking. Again, I'm, I'm not perfect, I make mistakes like everybody else, uh, but I did realise just in time, just got it on, I don't know if I made a difference, but there you go. So listen out for that because what you've got, you've got the auto cancel, haven't you? So you know when you position, so if I signal left, position and straighten back up after I've got the initial position, well, the signal's yellow, like this. There we go, it is cancelled. So just worth a little recap. Uh, the next thing we're going to do at the roundabout is go ahead, second exit. Okay. okay, so looking at lane markings, right is right only, so I don't need to know anything else. I don't need to see the marking on the left, right is right only, so this must be ahead. And there we've got the arrows ahead and left. Checking the mirror, nothing behind me in this lane. I'm not speeding up too, it's got the uh, white Fiat 500 coming round after the Fiat 500. Last looks, yeah, good. Uh, just in second, keeping left, not cutting, cutting those white lines there with my right tyres. And I might as well show you a more advanced right turn while I'm at it, just, just stemming back to the junction. So, mirrors, signal quite a lot of traffic behind me so I'm going to start to come into the hatched area to keep this traffic flowing on the left all the way in the box there's the point of turn keep rolling I'm going to go before the mini the cars behind me positions a bit later and their back end was hanging out into the road you see because they haven't got time to get the steering on get the steering off and then brake and do all the rest of it what I did so you just want to be entering them in a little bit early and remember those hatch markings in the road are broken to enter if it's safe to do so. So it's gotta be necessary, and because some of these right turn boxes are really big, so you can enter, you know, when the arrow guides you in, not over the hatch markings first. That's a really big misconception about the hatch markings there. 